Hi Libra and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, this reading is going to be your monthly uh, prediction or your monthly uh, tarot reading for the month of June 2022. Libra, um, as you all know, if you're a current subscriber, I used to do weeklies, but I'm not doing weeklies anymore because it's just, I need, you know, I want to do other content. I want to do book reviews. I want to do a heap of other stuff as well. So just to keep the channel interesting, um, you guys will get your monthly readings, but then there'll also be other content coming through as well. So Libra, without further ado, let's get started on your reading and see what comes up for you in June 2022. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Libra need to know for the month of June 2022? Thank you so much, Spirit. What does Libra need to know for the month of June? Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay. You have the Seven of Wands, the High Priestess. You have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Tower. Four of Wands, Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. And the outcome is the Hierophant. Okay, so I'll just push all these over so you guys can see them. This is a quick Celtic Cross. This is my version of the Celtic Cross. If you've got comments, well, that's not how you do it. Well, that's how I do it. So that's that. Okay, bottom of the deck, we've got the Five of Swords. Interesting. And let's clarify that overarching energy. Split the deck. You've got the Five of Wands. Libra, what are you guys up to this month? My goodness. Okay, guys, let's get started. Um, center of your reading, you've got the Seven of Wands. Okay, so what the energy that I'm picking up from this, uh, Libra, is the fact that, you know, you're sort of having to defend yourself here. You're sort of having to tell people to back off. You know, you've, you're, you've got this, all right? Um, it's almost like you're concentrating on something that you have to move forward on. Um, you know, you're concentrating here because your your foundation card here is the um, Eight of Pentacles, which is Virgo energy. Um, but Virgo energy is very much like, you know, you're at the moment you're focusing on the detail. And you can't focus on the detail if people keep interrupting you, calling you, asking you out to do things, um, distracting you, basically. I feel like there's a distraction a sort of energy around you this month. Um, so look, try not to get distracted. Just, you know, be, be kind as you always are because, you know, you're very, um, you know, you, you do, you're very careful with the words that you use. Um, but just be mindful. I feel like this month, you know, you're going to be, as I said, defending yourself, sticking up for what you believe in and standing in your truth because you've got to focus on some detail. In your crowning position, you have the High Priestess, which is obviously Piscean energy, but it's very much um, using your intuition, finding balance. You know, we've got the two pillars here. Um, you yourself, Libran, can be very psychic at times, but, you know, use your intuition to figure out um, who you're going to sort of um, allow to take up your time and who you are not. Um, because I think like at the, at the moment, you're sort of getting pulled in a couple of different directions. But, you know, the, the high priestess is beautiful. So she's the keeper, um, you know, of the hidden knowledge. You know, she holds the key beyond the veil. She is the keeper of hidden knowledge there, you know. And I also feel like you might even be experimenting with some occult knowledge this month. You might be looking at some astrology or you might be looking at tarot or anything like that that will further, um, you know, your psychic abilities. In the foundation, as I just mentioned previously, you have the Eight of Pentacles, which is about you uh, focusing on some detail here, mastering a particular skill, mastering possibly your psychic ability, possibly your intuitive gifts, um, you know, and that's what this is about. You know, eights are all about movement, but this is about in order to progress your career, perhaps, you know, this could be about moving forward. In order to move forward, we need to master a skill. We need to be able to nail it. And if you can't nail something, you know, you're not going to get that certification or you're not going to get that sort of a, that stamp of approval. I get I just saw a stamp, like a stamp of approval that you need from someone or something um, in order to move forward. Just recently, you've got the tower. Um, obviously, this has got something to do with either a relationship breakdown, someone's getting a divorce, someone's decided to say, you know, fuck it, I'm, I quit. <laughs> you know, you're moving away from a job or something that just doesn't work for you anymore. Um, your overarching energy at these two fives, we will get to those in a minute, but definitely Libra this month, um, that's what your energy is. You've, you've cut the cord. You've just basically said, look, enough is enough. I'm out. In your immediate future, you've got uh, a four of wands here. Now, this indicates um, harmony in the home, 
moving forward. So things in the home may not have been as harmonious as you would have liked, perhaps with a partner, but I feel very strongly, you know, you could be even meeting someone in the immediate future here that will create um, that beautiful sense of stability and passion and creativity within the home. Those things that you really admire, those things that you really need in your life, you know, these are essential to Libra. You know, if you don't have harmony and beauty and, and a serene um, home base, that's gonna not be good for you. So I feel like you've left something behind um, and this is waiting for you in the next within the next four weeks, which is really positive. Four of Wands is always always about happiness, happiness and harmony in the home. You yourself, yep, because of all this tower energy and this other overarching energy, which we'll talk about in a minute, you are feeling very battered and bruised. You are feeling very like the wounded warrior. You know, this is a chance for you to sort of spirits basically saying you can't throw the towel in. There's other things that you need to get done. There's things that, um, you know, there's work to be done here, Libra. So whether or not that be tying up some loose ends, finalizing some contracts, doing something that, you know, you've been chipping away at for such a long time, you're almost there, but just don't give up um, because this is, you know, spirit giving you a push to sort of say, look, you've got this. You've just got to, you know, dig deep and um, see it through. In your environment, you've got the um, Eight of Swords, which is, um, I feel like, you know, classic Libra, overanalyzing. Try not, try to take the blindfold off. Try to look at the big picture. Don't drill into the detail too much or overanalyze certain certain detail. Just get on with it. You know, I mean, you do have to. Uh, focus on detail down here but this is a different kind of this is more about your decision making process this is about you sort of you know you don't have to deliberate for too long you know just pick a side pick a pick a decision you know make make some choices here because as soon as you make these choices the sooner you can move forward your attitude is about a new beginning um also in regard to career but also in the body i feel very strongly like you could be um, starting um, some sort of new health regime or something here that involves reassessment reassessing your health and moving forward you have been working on it because aces are also about working on the self um, but if it's not about just a new health regime, you could also just be indicating here that you're starting a new job. You know, there's a new opportunity here that's waiting for you that, um, you know, you're ready. You're ready to receive that new opportunity, that new coin, that gift, um, that boost that you're looking for. The, av av um, the outcome for your reading is a hierophant. Um, so, you know, very much Libra here, you know, you're a leader, you're a spiritual teacher. You're also in a position to sort of, you know, Give people a very good, let's call it a moral compass. You know, what does that look like? You know, you're you're in a position here to sort of show people um, the right way of doing things, a traditional way of doing things, and a way of doing things that, you know, could involve marriage as well, because this is also the card of marriage. Um, for those who might be getting married, you know, you've got this uh, matrimony card in your immediate future here. So for those watching as well, you know, you might be also engaging in, in getting married this month. You know, it's, it's spring in or summer coming up in June in the Northern Hemisphere. So a lot of people will be um, enjoying that in the sunlight. Um, but also it's indicating change. Like you're also going through a bit of a change. You've got three fives in your reading. You've got, you know, the five of swords, five of wands and the five in the major arcana. So, you know, you could even be turning a corner now, Libra. You also might actually be going through a process here where you're sort of reassessing certain things about your spiritual path. You know, reassessing and, and looking at teaching, looking at learning, looking at understanding, um, you know, Jewish mysticism or the occult or, you know, Kabbalah or um, anything like that, that you feel um, could provide some sense of, um, you know, spiritual download for you. You know, I feel like you, you are searching at the moment as well, which is quite interesting. You're going to need it because the overarching energy is the five of swords which is about cutting away from um, people and toxicity walking away from a situation that you know is futile walking away from people who no longer serve you you know this uh, he's wearing green as well and that's indicative of new growth you know that color there indicates change and an opportunity that's coming your way and good luck you know good luck uh you know good fortune you know the four leaf clover the irish luck of the irish that's also uh, indicative of the color green so you know you got green in the center here as well on the seven of um the seven of wands and you're also wearing green here as well so i feel like it's also lucky the clarifier here is there was a five of wands as you can see here lots of petty arguments lots of people sort of bickering and it's sort of a bit very much like he said she said kind of energy um but it can also indicate um that you're spin trying to spin too many plates 
but I feel very strongly it's got something to do with, you know, there's a, there's an energy here of having to defend yourself. Um, something's just, you know, come to an end here with the tower. You've just experienced a tower moment. You know, towers can also indicate like an accident or you could have hurt yourself or something. And, you know, sometimes spirit gives you, you know, unfortunately, those unfortunate incidents where, you know, you're in a brace. I'm seeing someone with a brace on their leg or something. Um, and that's because they're just basically saying, look, slow down. You know, you're trying to do too many things here. You're trying to create too much change all at once. Um, so they're just asking you to focus on the detail in your foundation. You know, um, just do one thing at a time, Libra, and you will be fine. So guys, I hope you really liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you'd like a personal reading, don't forget to check out my website below, newangeltarot.com. And don't forget to check out my other videos as well. There's something there for everyone. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great June, and I will see you next month. Bye, Libra.